Child, my neighbors is bad as shit. Mm. Oh, why am I drinking red Kool-Aid before I film? I'm gonna film with a red mouth now. Why did I do this? Oh well, let's go. That's right, red syrup sipping and all. We are back for another episode of Megan's Music Mondays. Uh, in this episode, we are going to discuss some of my favorite tracks and albums that I'm currently listening to right now. So let's do this. All right, first things first. For those of you who are huge Insecure fans like I am, season two just ended and it was amazing. Even though we were left on a hella cliffhanger, that should have been the title of the episode because now, I need season three to hurry up and come, but that's besides the point. They left us with a great soundtrack. Like always, Issa Rae incorporates the best tracks into the actual episodes that just help paint the picture and the scene that much better. So let's get into it, cause her soundtrack was legit and some of our favorite artists made songs just for the soundtrack. Put your dust to the side, get his ass in the bed. Even if it's whack, you can still get some head. Go for it, go for it, go. Ho for it, ho for it, ho. Do you want that dick or no? You better go for it, go for it, ho. So as I mentioned, some of my favorite artists were included on this soundtrack and they wrote brand new songs just for the Insecure show. So you have greats like Georgia Smith on there. You also have Siza. You have Bryson Tiller and Jasmine Sullivan, and the list goes on. Like they really did pull a lot of the good artists that are mainstream, but she also does a really great job of putting on artists who aren't so mainstream, but you end up falling in love with them because she's giving them a spotlight to showcase their music. And I love her for that because there's so many artists that I found now like Carrie Faux and others who I can't stop listening to all thanks to Issa Rae. So as always, I'm gonna let a track play and I'm gonna show you my listing of my favorites. Okay, this next artist is a complete treasure find for me. I had no idea who he was until yesterday and now I'm completely obsessed with him. Ah, guys, are you ready? So this album is gonna be called Summer Madness by an artist called L.E. Dollar Sign. When I tell you I've been seeing this album pop up sporadically everywhere and I'm just like, who is this cat? Like, let me go finally listen to him so I can see what kind of juice he got and honey, I wasn't disappointed at all. I've been killing this album, as I said, since yesterday when I found out about it. And it's just 10 tracks of sheer greatness. Like it's so Cali, vibey. I just, I can't even, what? The first track called Sunset, the minute it hit, it starts off real beachy. You're feeling like you could be laid out somewhere, cooling on the coast, and then the beat drops. And then you're like, damn, am I listening to some old school Wiz Khalifa? Cause it's exactly what it gave me. This album gave me Cushion Orange Juice vibes. And the fact that I got that from track number one, and then he states it in track number three called Duckin, cause he samples Wiz Khalifa's Mesmerize. I don't love him, I don't chase him, I duck him. Like, yes! All right guys, I don't know what else to say about him because I haven't listened to any of his previous work. Although I saw on title, he has a whole bunch of albums. So if any of you are fans of him and have any other albums or tracks that I must listen to by him, let me know, put me on. Cause right now I'm just listening to this Summer Madness and it is solid in my book. And even though I said his album is solid all the way through, I still have my go-to track. So I'm gonna give you my favorites right here. Let's move on to some tracks because there's an artist by the name of Laven Kali who I am obsessed with. I know I say this a lot guys, but when I find a new artist and new music to jam to, I kind of just like uh, suck into their little world of music and I can't stop listening to them. So as I said, Laven Kali is the newest addition to the Megan Obsession Train. Choo choo, ride that, choo choo, ride that, 
Choo, choo. It's actual instrumentation. You hear the instruments being played in the songs. It's not all just digital sounds. And his voice is amazing as well. And it's just really groovy. And I don't know, his music just takes you there as I'm rocking back and forth. But yeah, his music just takes you there. So he has three tracks that I really do enjoy. And the first one is Smile, which I've already mentioned to you guys. The second one is Joy, which I absolutely love because he talks about like the plight of humanity right now. But through all of that, he's gonna get his joy. And then the last one is called Yours, which is so sexy. I love it. The way it switches up at the end, ugh, oh, yes. Okay, so the next artist that I want to mention, he goes by the name of Roman Guy and Arthur. I think I'm saying it right. Regardless, it's another song that I heard while watching Insecure, but it's not on the soundtrack. But guys, I had to Shazam it. I had to figure out who it was. And let's say it together. Now I'm hooked. All right, so the track that I'm talking about is titled Real Love, No Shade. Besides Real Love No Shade, after I looked him up, there was another song that I liked called I-69. So those are two songs by him that I thoroughly suggest to you all. So I-69 and Real Love No Shade, cause you're, you're gonna love it. It's pretty freaking awesome. My other favorite song right now that I cannot stop dancing to is No Limit, and that is by ASAP Rocky, g Easy, and Cardi B. I am so proud of her. She's hopping on everybody's tracks and owning it, because when it comes to her verse, I'm like, mm, let's get it pussy popping on a handstand type of shit. Like, I love this song, guys. No Complaints, and that is by Metro Boomin, Offset, and Drake. And when I mean I have no complaints about this song, guys, as corny as that sounds, every time it comes on, I'm just jamming. So, you gotta go take a listen to it. Alright guys, that wraps this episode up. If you've enjoyed, please give me a thumbs up below. And as always, please make sure you subscribe to our channel for more Music Mondays and fun videos and Wednesday talks, just all of that good jazz. And please guys, comment below if you have any artists that you think I should be talking about or that I should just listen to. So if you have any good music, as I said, comment below and share it with me as I have shared all this good music with you. I will catch you next time on another episode of Megan's Music Mondays. Bye, guys.